Welcome back, uh, Mr. Adeta Kumbo Mumuni joins us now. He's the executive director of Serap. Thank you for coming on this morning. It's a pleasure. We're talking about this uh, unfortunate incident in uh, Metile, Borno State. Uh, I mean, yes, Serap, even you, you, you responded, you wrote, please. The responsibility demand that things must happen. And things are not up now. You say we should uh, stand at Kimbo and leave it like that. It's not, it, that's not the way things are run. In any case, whether it is military or defense, in a democracy, there can be no opaqueness in dealings with matters of public fund. So if that is taken, then investigation must be conducted. What was, has, did, has there taken the option of going to court to seek a redress as for demanding uh, an opening of the military spending? No, no, what we have said is we have written to the commander in chief that he should set up a tribunal of inquiry to look into all that they've received all this while and what has happened to it. It should be headed by a retired but not tired Supreme um, a Court of Appeal judge retired or a Supreme Court judge retired. That to us will give us what we think we must know. About what has happened to so that suggests that yeah, Sarah is not exactly happy with the way the investigation is going on with that of the 2014. No, no, no that, that, because if you have been investigating something since 2014, but it's in court, you know, some of them are in court. No, no, no. Let me tell you. Let me tell you the, the problem with the court matter. Those that are representing those that have that have been accused of mismanaging or stealing defense budget and all those things have been stalling trial. We say this is um, a, a, a constitutional democracy. Uh, we say once somebody's accused until the contrary is proved, we leave it like that. But what we have seen is that the trial is not going on. So is, is that a, whose fault is that? Is, isn't that the judicial process? Now, now, let's say that is judicial process. Good. But what we intend to achieve by this deliberate probe is... Let us have sufficient, provable evidence that things are happening terribly, and that is why we suggested. You see, when you have a when you have a window, you have your own internal law, internal tribunals of uh, internal court system, which you think is not achieving what you want, then you consider using the authority that you have. Now, just as, as an alternative mm. to say, ICC, International, International, International Criminal Court Prosecutor, refer this matter to them. They will look at it and, and prosecute, actually, at the, under the Rome Statute. When it is that, there is no hiding place for anybody. And it sends sufficient signal that things will... You know, we've had... Uh commissions of inquiry, investigative panels, different ones in this country on different things, mm -hmm. and the reports are gathering dust in some corners. Mm -hmm. So how do you suggest that this request of yours take shape? You see, it is still... Okay. Format. Uh, good, good. When we don't expect things to change, we can't be expecting that when actions taken are not followed up, by the person who has the political power to do it, to muster this necessary political will to act on what is found out. Are we saying we should not look into this again? Because in the past, matters have been looked into and the and the and the results. No, but you know that if you if you if you have this commission of inquiry or what, whatever, however the form it takes, someone can go to court and challenge some of these things, and so it takes us back to square one because they will ask you, how does your request? address the question of utilization of intelligence? You see, utilization of intelligence is a matter for military experts to talk about. I'm a lawyer, I'm not a military expert. <laughs> but what we see is that if probe is not conducted to military and defense spending, we will continue to hope where what stares us in the face is hopelessness. Adetokumbo Mumuni, Executive Director of Serap, thank you for coming on this morning. It's a pleasure. We'll be back in a moment and continue in the same matter. Stay with us.